In today's video, we're gonna talk about should you do nails for free? Can't wait to get to this topic right now on the Biz Talk. Tracy, free, 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 free 99. Free, 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 free. What is the deal with free? I mean, will you work here for free? That's my question. <laughs> will you work here for free? You love it so much, right? Everybody in our company should be just here for free because. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what get, you, everything that you get deal paid with. Get paid with love. Get, <laughs> get paid with kindness, okay. maybe a lunch. Every once in a totally while. Totally worth it. <laughs> paid with love. Get paid with inspiration, Tracy. You come here, you get inspired. That's crazy as I probably would. <laughs> you would not. I, I have insane. to be work. It's like I have to work, so. <laughs> okay. So um, here's what's funny. It was when we talked about this before shooting this, uh, like I thought you were going to go one way for sure of like, this but then you said something and i was like oh interesting this is something that we should definitely talk about so the question that i have is should you do nails for free ever is there ever a time that like that should happen my instant you know thought is like absolutely not but what's your vibe trace yes and no ah I'm going to punch myself in the face 80 Even times. Even if the answer isn't yes or no, it's going to be gonna yes You're going to give a no. yes or no. You're going to give a yes or no. So I have no problem with people not charging if they need the practice. So you're sitting there. You're doing nothing. You want to be doing nails. You want to be practicing on someone. I see. I, I recommend free model call. Put it out on Instagram. It doesn't necessarily have to be friends or family because the potential of maybe that person keeping with you is, is as good client. as a client. Yeah. So I, I have no problem with doing that because it's for a purpose, right? But it, the communication, what I was saying was, it has to be very clear in the fact of, Habib, I'm, I'm going to use you as a model. First, I got to practice what I want to practice. Yeah. You can kind of give me some colors or something, but you know, if there's, you know, this is what I'm doing for free for you. I want to practice um, stilettos. So it's, it's, this is when you put it in the description, you put what you're looking for and make it very clear to the person. This is what we're doing. It's free. Yes. Right? It's, you don't, you're not going to come and be like, I'm, I'm taking requests. I know you said stiletto, <laughs> but I, I want short and Coffin I want square. Or, yeah. Mm -hmm. Active. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. No. Uh -uh. And it's also very clear that this is a one-time thing. Right. right. So if you would, you know, here's my pricing. If you'd like to continue with me, I totally understand. I really appreciate you. Either way, I appreciate you letting me um, work on my craft. Right. Um, now, that's it. The only person in my life that ever is probably going to get free nails, as we talked about this morning, is my mom. Yes. My mom. Um, past that, doing free sets because it's a friend, because it's a family member. It's they're taking up a spot. Yeah. I cannot go to any of their jobs and say, well, you're going to do it for free, right? It's right. fun. It's fun. It's nails. <laughs> it's fun. You're going to do it for free. No, I'm not. Um, now, it's not that I hadn't ever had someone, a friend or someone come to me and sure. I go, don't worry about it. That's my choice at that moment. Right. They didn't expect it. I gifted it, you know, um, but yes. Yeah, so that's the yes and no. Okay. For a purpose. Free for, for a for purpose. For a purpose. For a purpose. So here's my question. Okay. And I'm thinking that I'm trying to uh, imagine myself in a beginner's shoes, right? Somebody that's starting off. You're trying. You've got your license. You're trying to like build your business, but you're skills are not quite there yet, whether it's your speed or your technique or a combination of both. And I know, like me, myself, I'm like, dude, I, I mean, I need to pump out sets, yep. right? And so, I'm tired of working on the trainer hand today. Exactly. Like I would probably, as, as, a, as a method of practice, right, try to get down as much as humanly possible, because there I can do volume, right? I can get two trainer hands, um, and literally practice, it's obviously not ideal, but it's pretty good, like practice technique, speed, as much as humanly possible, right. right, to get that down. And then when I'm ready, like, okay, let me move it into a person. But so I do the person one time free. 
what if I want them to come back and I'm like, well, I want to practice fills. Would, would it be, if I was like, I'll do a few more for free. Is that like, would you be like, that's cool. I mean, in, in your professional opinion, I would have no problem with, because maintenance is so important. So important. Yeah. For you to say at that time, go, you know what? I know this was just for this, but could I book you for out in two or three weeks? And I also want to practice my maintenance so we can, you can come back. That will also be free. And, um, but you know, past that, it probably won't happen, but, um, you know, it was great working with you. I really enjoyed it. And I think that it could benefit both of us. Totally. And if people ask you, can you just let them know? Like, yeah, you know, yeah. let, like, it's a let's, walking billboard at that time. It's a walking billboard. Yeah. Exactly. So, okay, cool. Cause I know like me, myself, I'm not speaking about anybody else. I would be like, dude, I want to get in as much practice as possible on a real human before I like, you know, move on. But you know, you for a set and then a fill and then you're like, okay, I'm kind of feeling this. Maybe you pick somebody else, you get multiple walking billboards out there where yep. you can practice. And, and then if they came, if, if it was like on your third, if I have to do a rebalance at that point, would that be a rebalance in the third appointment, you think? You'd one fill, or would you do two fills and then a rebalance? It depends how fast they grow. Usually it's full set, fill, rebalance. Rebalance, okay. So let's say it's a rebalance. Would would it be okay if, you know, I said, okay, I'll come back, I'll rebalance your nails. I'm only going to charge like a half price right now because I'm still kind of in practice until... Absolutely. Okay. It, it's, it's you're making, you're communicating at the time of what it's going to be you're getting benefit out of it but past that it has to stop you know yeah, unless yeah. unless it's like okay i now want to practice uh squabble nails so if you're cool because i do enjoy working with you i want to remove these and then we're going to practice it completely something else so if it's still beneficial for you and that person you know is just easy going and you know there's certain people that are easier to work on sure. even though it's free than others if like that person's game then yeah you can continue with that person but eventually it has to stop yeah i think that's why i like you know the practice hand in terms of i can sit there and just get like over and over and over, as much as i want right up to a certain degree it's kind of like you know basketball players they i can go in the gym i can shoot as many baskets as i want obviously it's not even close to the same thing as a real game because it's five on five, right. right? There's multiple people, there's teammates, there's plays, but that's what, that's what athletes do in their practice session. They're shooting free throws, a thousand free throws and like 200 jump shots before they even start. And then they'll do their own drills. I mean, Kobe was like notorious for that. This is kind of the same way I see it as like, get in that, those reps on a practice hand you know what I mean? And then start, you can start bringing yep. in people. It's like 90% on a practice hand. Right. 10% on real. Right. And you're going to get, you're going to get really good yeah. doing that. Um, and then eventually, like you said, you know, maybe a free set, maybe a free fill after that start charging, but it's got to stop at some point because, you know, it's so easy for somebody to get used to the freebie. Yeah. You know, I mean, this one wasn't free. That's why it's such Clear communication. Clear, clear communication, communication man. Every time. Not in assumptions. Like, oh, they've been to me twice. They know the deal. No, nope. we're going to restate what is happening here. And then you're good. Yeah, that's got to be so clear. What about, here's a situation that I'm sure uh, people be curious about. Maybe some people already have a method. But what if I'm a gel tech, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> and even the reverse, if I'm an acrylic tech, and I want to start doing, let's say I'm an acrylic tech and I want to start doing gel nails, but you know, you've practiced, but you don't, you kind of need to practice on a real person. What are you doing at that point? Is it kind of the same thing or kind of the same thing? Okay. I see it with hairdressers all the time. They, they have a full clientele, a fairly full clientele. They do hair, they do cuts, they do hair color, they all that. They want to get instant extensions. Right. And so they'll do a model call of like, you got to pay for the hair, you know, but the service itself will be free, which is huge. You know, if you can get in on that, that's great. Um, so the same thing with nails. If there's something in particular that you're not familiar with, a shape, 
or something trending that you're, you know, I got a pretty good idea of how to do it, but I want to do it on a person or switching kind of nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be very brief though, because you'll probably get it down fairly quick. I was going to say as a pro, and if you already have kind of a full clientele and you're, you're sort of transitioning or you want to transition, you've already got the skills, yeah, right? And you're going to pick it up relatively quick. So it's like, okay, maybe there's a freebie, but maybe just pay for cost to product. At that point, I think you could say, right, like you were saying, just pay for the materials. Yep. Af- outside of that, you know, whatever, 15 bucks covers my materials just for now, whatever that is. Yeah, um, and, and typically when you have that kind of situation, Habib, like you have a full clientele, you, you a lot of times will just use one of your clients that are, pre-existing yeah like hey i want to take the acrylic off try some gel what do you think and i won't charge you like oh sweet they probably pay you anyway right right at least a good tip yeah they're going to give you does this apply to trying new shapes trying let's say you want to do i mean anything new like what about if you don't do nail art and you're going to start to nail art does that apply to that like where's the line I think anything that you're un- completely uncomfortable with, mm. like you want that moment of, I'm going to take my time. I don't want to think about asking them if they're happy or what they think or what I want to just create out of my mind. And I don't want to stress about it. I think it's okay. At that yeah. Point. Yeah. Even nail art. To an extent. Yes. <laughs> I love this one because yes, nail art and Tracy are like, oh. because you know, it's got to be some severe nail art you're never, you are not completely not comfortable with. Um, yeah, then maybe. Like, if I was like, eh, hey, Habib, I really want to practice portraits. <laughs> it's like, I hope you enjoy that stick man that I just put on your nails. <laughs> Pay me, no. So I, it would have to be something completely out of my comfort zone. Okay. That I want full focus. I don't want your opinion on. When you went from pink and whites into like, nail art when you because glitter, yeah. glitter right did you do any of that or is glitter simple enough to where like you can do glitter process and stuff to where like what was that like for you first one's free first so, one's free. so you did do that i did because okay. at the time it was all pink and white so it i was, was i was switching white. to art because of me not them i was over it so it was it was very hard at first to transition so i put it on myself people started liking that i'm like let's hey let's get wild let's do a little iridescent over your pink and white you know yeah. um you know don't worry about it you know if you like it we'll keep it and everybody of course ended up liking it and keeping it but um yeah like the, the i did do like the first one was free because it was it was hard to transition people Dude, at that time of course back then pink and whites I mean, they was, rained. They rained. That right. was it. That's all you wore. It was weird not to have pink and whites. It was weird not to have pink and whites. To convince somebody to go f- to into art was like, I don't want these blingy, showy. Yeah. I get pink and whites, you know? So you were wearing them too, though, right? Weren't you, didn't you start to wear the art as well? Of course, well? because yeah. the one thing people want what you have on. So you yeah. walk in and, you know, this is one thing uh, Melissa will talk about. It's like when she wants a chill week, she does something simple on her nails, something mm-hmm. she'll make good money, but it's not too difficult. And that's what people want. That's insane. She goes, and when she wants to really, you know, Upcharge. I got rent due. <laughs> I got rent due. She will do something insane on her nails. That is $200. And that's what everybody wants. So if it's she, a mind thing, they can if, see it visual. So if, if she's literally wearing like a $200 set with like, you know, insane dimension, multiple colors, glitters, whatever. People literally are like, I want that on your nails yeah, right yeah, now. They might want to switch up the colors, but a lot of times because people are undecisive, they're visual. It's hard. Yeah. Uh, I want a dimensional smoky. What does that look like? Right. You know, they see it on you and they're like, oh my God, especially like they're just bleeding and they're like, yeah. Yeah. I, I remember there's a video that she did this amber rock like oh. with with white and like they were insane. I'm like, she wears those. Everybody's gonna get them. But how would you even explain that to your customer? You can't. You're right. You're how would right. a customer even know to ask for that unless they saw it on your Instagram? Yes, saw so on the Instagram, which which looks cool because that's where I saw it. But I can't even imagine seeing it live yeah. where you're like, yo, yeah. I want that. So I had to transition, and it was really weird for me when I transitioned to look down and not see pink and whites. And then what's funny is for about a year, I just did straight glitter. I'm like, I'm gonna do a set of pink and whites on myself, and it lasted a day you couldn't I couldn't I yeah. looked down and I'm like oh my god no I can't do yeah, it Yeah, at that point once you go to art it's like 
color yeah. right now you've got color and it's all day you're like this you're it's like clean. all day you're yeah. driving and you're like mesmerized yeah Officer, i love it exactly this is why i got pulled over <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't paying attention looking at my nails officer yeah. don't be mad um awesome i i love this i think this is gonna be a very helpful topic for for everybody um sometimes free sets the answer is yes uh, eventually <laughs> though it's no, no. Uh, you've got to transition out of that. But the, the big the big message is clear, clear communication with your clients is going to be the absolute key. So, Tracy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us. And we will see you next time on BizTalk. Subscribe channel now.